Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to show you today this little beauty. <clears throat> this is my wallet setup. I got this Chic Sparrow Nano. Uh, it's a deluxe in the second chance sale. I have an unboxing video that you can watch as well if you want to see my reaction to finding this out. It is a uh, Pemberley in Castle Rock is the color. This color is being discontinued, so you may want to snatch it up if you can find any uh, if you're interested. But I think this is just a really gorgeous piece of leather. It kind of has some various uh, different textures in it. Like up here, the pebbles are really big and down here, they're kind of small and it's just really pretty. And I'm really liking this leather. I think the next journal I get, whatever that is, um, might be another Pemberley because it's just a really pretty and soft and it smells nice and it's really great. And this makes me really happy as my wallet. Um, previous to this month, like before I got this little notebook, I had my wallet set up in my personal size bullet journal. Uh, that was the Shakespeare of Verona Outlander. Um, and I had like a, a zipper pocket uh, and it had like some pocket space for um, some cards and I had some in the front pocket of the deluxe itself, uh, some different credit cards and things in there. And then my cash and change were in a uh, coin purse in my purse and then the personal size is nice. Uh, because it's big enough to fit a check without folding it, um, this obviously is not. So things are a little bit different now, but um, since I've moved out of the personal size and into a pocket size for my bullet journal, I wanted to also give a shot at not putting a bunch of bulky stuff in there. So my journal, like my bullet journal setup is much slimmer um, and just sort of more kind of classy and books only. It only has like paper in there. so. Um, I moved all of my wallet stuff into here and actually be able to fit more cards because it's just a dedicated uh, setup. So I'm going to do a little bit of a flip through and show you what I've got going. So this front pocket, because the deluxe does come with just a pocket in the front and the back and then one string. So in the front pocket I've got my, um, my debit card and at first I didn't have it in here but if you don't have it in here let me see if I can get it out without showing it to you. Here we go. If it's not there, um, the front cover kind of folds in more. I don't know if that's kind of showing. Um, and when you do have it in, it sort of holds the, uh, the front cover flat so that when it's folded, it doesn't curl in on the front quite as much when it has the elastic like that. So I just thought I would throw that there as well as making it, you know, more accessible. I'll put whatever card I want to use primarily in the front here. It kind of varies throughout the month. Um, then the next thing in here, cause I said so it's just the one string. And so I have a rubber band in here holding two little items together. This is a wallet sort of card holder. I just got it off Amazon. I'll link the listing below, but there are a few different ones on Amazon that I'll pretty much look similar. I think some have like 10 slots and some have six. Uh, this is one of the 10 slot ones, but I am not using all of the slots because if I were, it would be like even more massive than this and it's fat enough already. Um, so because it's not designed for a traveler's notebook, it's just designed as a wallet insert. Um, it has this front and back flaps here that are designed to go into the pockets of like a normal wallet. And so instead of trying to cut those off or, you know, other ways, try to, you know, hide it or just have it there being annoying, I decided to sort of call it a dashboard and I stuck a little sticker on here. This came from Hobby Lobby um, and I just sort of stuck it on here because it looks kind of fall-ish to me and we're moving into some cooler weather and I just wanted a cute little sticker. So that's just kind of there and it greets me when I open my wallet. Um, and I'll be able to pull this off and replace it. Maybe as we get into the winter, I might replace it with some, you know, more wintery stickers and kind of keep things fresh. And I've got my driver's license here and then all of my credit cards, insurance information, various things are in here and I'm not going to show those to you, but, uh, I've got, let's see, like a rewards card, stamps, some empty slots because I'm trying to keep things slim library card, some gift cards, and then um, in the back here, I think I've shown this before, and this is just a little uh, rosary card that I got from a 
a fundraiser dinner once and it's just really handy to have a little rosary in here and it's got like little raised bumps so if I don't have my rosary in my purse or if someone needs to borrow one I have an extra one and it's just tucked away which is just really nice uh, then the back little flap of the wallet insert I have used also I guess as a dashboard but I got this little pen loop again I'll link everything below this is also from Amazon um, the reviews for this are kind of mixed. It was like one of the cheaper adhesive pen loops. I didn't get the, um, like I know a lot of people get the Leuchtturm pen loops for their journals. Um, this one is really tiny and because it's tiny, it really won't fit a pen that's much bigger than this. It's like the size of a pencil maybe, but you can't really fit too much in here because this elastic is not like super, super stretchy. Um, some of the reviews also say that the adhesive doesn't hold up, but I don't think I'm going to be using this like vigorously, I guess, enough for it to be a problem. Um, basically, I just wanted to have a pen in here for signing receipts or checks or for shopping lists. And then this little pen, again, from Amazon, uh, is a Zebra, and I think it probably has a model number. It says 500 T5. I know that the T3 was also available. It does it has a silver clip instead of a gold one. Um, but I was kind of going for a gold theme, as you see. And so it's just a tiny little pen. You push it down to turn it on, I guess, to extend it. And then you push on the clip to retract it. And it is very small, so it's a little bit tricky to use, but it works in a pinch. And it's really handy to have here. And I like the ability to use it for shopping lists and stuff. So the other side of this rubber band, I've got a moleskin. Um, this is the, I think it's called extra small, but maybe it's extra, extra small. I don't know. I have another sticker here on the back of it. Um, it's just lined and everything in here is perforated front and back. So I've got um, a one grocery list in here. I used this grocery shopping, wrote out everything I needed, used my little pen to cross stuff out as I went, and it is super messy and gorgeous. And then when I'm done with it all, because I don't need this shopping list anymore, I can just rip it out by the perforation and then not carry it around anymore. So there you go. So I actually, uh, this notebook is actually a little bit taller when it comes. It's uh, four inches and this is three and three quarters, I think, this insert of uh, card holder. So I actually took out a cutting mat and a ruler and a knife and just actually trimmed it down. Um, and so you might see here that like, it's, uh, it's not ideal or perfect or anything, but then I took my corner rounder and I rounded the corner, so. The, uh, the top corner's a little bit of a smaller circumference, I think, than the bottom, but really you don't notice, and I just wanted it... It was it was bothering me slightly that it was taller because it really was, like, from the bottom of the notebook to the very top of the notebook. And so if it shifted at all, it would pop out, and I just found that slightly annoying, so I just went ahead and cut it down. Um, and then I have this sort of dashboard was this gold dotted acetate. I was using some of it in my pocket size bullet journal setup and uh, it wasn't tall enough here. Uh, the, the piece that I had left over as a scrap wasn't long enough in this direction so I cut two pieces and then taped them together with packing tape. So you can see that packing tape and then I rounded this corner and this corner as well as the outside ones. Just as a little dashboard to add some color um, and that's you know fun and pretty and then like I said another sticker from the same place Hobby Lobby and then I just have some cash in the back here I don't carry very much cash but um, and then my change like my coins are still in my coin purse and my purse so I just have a little bit of cash here and then I have one check folded in half in the back here which I can fill out with the pen if I need to so that is pretty much the setup it makes me really happy um, just like holding it and <laughs> It's um, 
Like, it's more of a wallet than what I was using before. Like, I would have to pull out my whole personal size planner and plop that on the counter when I was buying groceries, which is fine. Like, it also still made me really happy when I got to hold it and use it. Um, but this is like really convenient. I can grab this, I can grab my phone and my keys and then head into the store. I've got my shopping list all written in here and it's all very convenient. So this works really well for me. Um, products again, I keep saying this, but products are linked below. I got everything from Amazon, so it's all really easy to find. And I think everything came with prime shipping. Um, so if you're interested in all that, you know where to find it. Um, go ahead and subscribe and like and all that because I am posting videos three times a week. So. I look forward to seeing you in one of those and you guys have a good time. Bye.